All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. Today, we're going to work on our colonists. We're going to get this built really fast. So let's go ahead and start working on getting our colonists going. Let's put down a seed dispenser. And let's also put down an incubator. And let's put down a couple research stations. I want to put down two because two research stations would be great to have. But we're going to need a bunch of stuff. One of the first things we're going to need is a crude gear. And you notice we're not making crude gears. We're making tools. So we're going to need to put down another workbench. Get that built really fast. And make our crude gears. Crude gears take planks. So that's no big deal. We have plenty of planks. So let's go ahead and build up a bunch of those. I don't need a lot of them right now. So I'm not going to automate this process. But I will be automating it in the future. Let's go ahead and grab the gears. And put them into the colonist seed dispenser. And then we'll also put it into the incubator. Okay, let's get the rest of this stuff built. Our colonist seed dispenser has been completed. Now we can actually produce colonist seed pods. And our incubator is completed so we can actually grow those seeds into actual colonists. And our research station is finally complete. So we can actually start doing some research. And you can see here now we've unlocked that little hidden one from the last video that shows us where our research is. And any of the items that we can research. We can research the level technology 1. And it goes all the way down to level technology 6. If you've been watching my other videos about Autonauts and I'm working my way through completing the game it's been like 300 hours and i'm just now starting to get into uh the level six technology so this game is you're definitely going to invest a lot of time playing this game because it takes a long time to do and set up uh, production lines but it's a lot of fun i'm really really enjoying it you can see that some of these technologies unlock some new and exciting things like uh, this tool technology unlocks various different tools. Our storage technology unlocks different things. Your good workbench and then a bunch of different storage. Uh, also a new backpack for me, which allow me to hold another item in my backpack. Uh, some more farming equipment. And then also the basic robot related stuff. And robots... I, I am not 100% sure if we have to go back and do these other technologies first but what i'll probably do is jump into robotics right away and you can see we get bot upgrades at this moment in time and that'll help us with our bots to go faster and be better and more awesome the amount of research bites it takes to unlock these you can see they're right up here on the top in order to produce a colonist all you have to do is go over to the seed dispenser use it it'll produce a seed you pick up the seed, you put it in the incubator. Now the incubator requires you to provide it some food. So you're going to need to get yourself a shovel. And start digging up some berries. And you place the berries inside of the incubator. And it'll tell you that it's starting to get full. And so once you fill it up, you get yourself a colonist. Yay, we got our first colonist. We brought life into the world. Yay. <laughs> and here we are with level one colonists. It all is dodge yeah. And ends way up there. Now, in order to do anything with the colonists, we have to feed it, right? It requires food. So food is going to be our next really major concern for production. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're just going to pop these berries really fast. And we're going to give our colonists a little bit of food. We're just going to feed them. Yeah. He's got some food in his belly. He's happy. Look at him. Look at him. Full of joy. Little naked colonist doing his little joy thing. You can see that in the lower right hand corner, you've got the number one with a little heart next to it. And a progress bar that's moving very quickly. That is your wove production. And he just produced one wove. <laughs> you can tell that it's only one wove because that little one in the circle there, it's a level one wove. So what do we do with that? Well, 
We are going to put that into our research facility. So it looks like I'm making tool technology, which only requires a stone. So let's go ahead and grab a stone. Let's actually grab two. And we're going to put that in to, we're going to pick our stone. We'll put that in the machine there. We'll pick our stone, put it in a machine, and then we'll go ahead and grab our technology and pick these guys up and feed it into the machine. And you can see we're producing love and we're producing, we need 20 to create and get to our goal. And so we have to keep feeding this guy. So right now our job is to dig up berries and mushrooms and get to the next level of stuff, which is food. Food production is going to be really our next chore. And then once we automate farming, we could start working on other things such as bucket liquid and also the basic bot upgrades. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up a farm and show you how to automate the production of food and feeding your little colonists. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit that like button, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know, when I go live and when I post new videos, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.